Hello everyone, this is Kressel Snapdragon, back with some more Project Gorgon. We're actually going to go back to the Starter Island, we're going to go to Anagog Island, um, by first making our way to Sir Bully Docks that I have up here in the corner of the map. We're going to talk to Jural and see about him taking us to the Starter Island. So we are going back to Anagog Island and we're going to make our way through the first dungeon with the first main boss, Gadgis the Big Head, which is, I assume you pronounce his name, Gadgis. So let's go ahead and let's talk to Jural. Now we've already read what he says about Sunvale, but wh where else can he take us? So there's a lot of tiny islands around here, but they're not inhabited. Sunvale at least has some druids living there. Other islands, there's nothing. So I need to get back to a certain small island. Oh yeah, which one? Well, it has a broken down lighthouse on it and some skeletons. Ah, that's Anagog. Good salvage there, but dangerous and restricted by the council. I suppose I could take you anyway, but it'll cost you 300. That's a round trip price. Okay, well, I can definitely pay. There's a magic bell on the dock. When you want me to pick you up, ring it. I'll hear it. I don't know how, but I will. It's really creepy. <laughs> All right, so we're back on Anagog Island, and we've already entered the Anagog Records facility. The entrance to the facility is on the very back of the mountain that the lighthouse sits on. You basically have to go all the way around and pass the teleportation circle in order to find the entrance. But here we are at the records facility. All right, earlier entries are too faded to read, but the most recent entries appear to be a hasty record of various supplies and materials. Each entry is initialed E for Elmataf. Emergency protocol invoked, normal operations suspended. Welcome, visitor name here. Access to Crackle artifacts in the restricted Crackle right passageway. Authorization can be attained by Crackle the Crackle. If any time you need assistance, please inquire with any records worker. Hello, sir or madam. Fallback mode. I am unable to process visual input. Please identify yourself. Greetings, Candied. Alumni are only allowed to visit with proper supervision. Please leave immediately. So you're supervised. Very good. How may I be of service? Location uncertain. I am a records custodian. My place of work is Records Hall, Stronmar Academy. I have been moved to an undisclosed location by an authorized representative of Stronmar. So Candide is an alumni of Stronmar Academy. No grade information is available. Please visit the records hall at Stronmar Academy for this information. I have attendance information which indicates that Candy did not attend her year's graduation ceremony. Conjecture, you may have been indisposed at the time, you may have failed to graduate, you may have refused to attend the party for emotional reasons, or you might have been killed prior to the ceremony. Well, I'm not killed. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep going. Let's talk to this guy. Wubbada, hubbada, woobity, goobity, goo. He's, he's kind of, kind of broken, guys. Uh, I really need to... <laughs> give away as gifts some of this material to the NPCs. I keep forgetting to, or maybe I'm just too lazy to walk around in Sir Bully Keep, but my inventory is starting to get a little packed and it's starting to become project inventory management. Let's go down this first location here. Oh. Simple enough to get past the so-called guard. Reprogramming the golems gave me a little more trouble and I fear one or two may no longer Lower levels recognize my authorization, though. <laughs> so it looks like we have to figure out how to get through this barrier. As you touch the wall, a voice in your set head says, A prodigy must know the lore. How many godlings? So let's walk around and see if we find a hint to get through this barrier. The journals were written by someone named Elmatef, who proctored some sort of test for many years. Most of the journal entries are just dates and indecipherable numbers, but one longer entry catches your eye. I have been fooled. Yesterday, a devious student passed my magic test without knowing any magic. 
How many other students have tricked me? Furious! At first I assumed she used alchemy, but no, my detection runes have alerted me to that. After interrogation, the truth is even more embarrassing. She used a primitive science called mycology. I have transcribed her method below and will study it more carefully. Let's keep looking around here. Whereas human children were often taught the simple mnemonic, 20 godlings in the ground, 20 more in air surround, one was killed in demon fire, two were banished to the mire. The logic behind the couplet no longer makes sense due to the recent changes, but the addition and subtraction at least provides the correct number of gods. Most council citizens can name a dozen common gods, but the majority of them are too minor to be well known or are most active on other continents. So that means the answer to opening the barrier should be 37. I believe, right? 40 minus 3, 37 is going to be the answer to opening that barrier. So let's go ahead and see about getting food. Ha! Ha ha! It worked! I can do math! This is so exciting. Although it is dead now, this tree apparently grew here, straight out of the basement floor. A flurry of snow whips continuously around the upper branches. The nature sphere continues to confound me. It seems to be leaking an incomprehensible amount of magic. But what amazing power. This will succeed or my other experiments have failed. The mantises, the brain beasts, all of those can wait. I have a better idea for an army. If I can create enough sentient weather, I could reclaim my place on the council. And then I could... But no more daydreaming. First I must find a way to contain the nature sphere so that it doesn't destroy the world. The hags are becoming more persistent. I won't be able to stay here much longer. Must wrap up my experience. The nature sphere is done. The magical sunlight grew a tree in just a few weeks. Even more amazing. When I turned it off, warm sunlight continued to pour into the cave. Perhaps I don't understand this device as well as I thought. And after abandoning Head 1, this has been my primary experiment. It is always thrilling to invent a new kind of life, but this one's ultimate utility is unclear. Oh, that's being too kind to myself. Their brain mass weighs three stone, and yet they're dumber than a dog. And while they have psychic power, it use, it's used only as a rudimentary attack. I have to acknowledge failure. That such a large-brained creature could be dumber than an orc. Tragic. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> The key is in their diet. I fed them whatever food I could find down here, but that grows their body without growing their mind. They also need a diet of consciousness. I fed one of my mantis guardians to them, and I'm almost certain they became a bit more self-aware. I only have a few mantis guards left here. I should have brought more with me, so I must find another source. I just learned the ability Brain Scrub. Dispels up to three stacks of brain fog. Have been feeding rats and other vermin to the brain creatures. It's all I could find here since they cannot feed on undead consciousness. There's been some improvement. They're even becoming aggressive. While individually they're still weak, their combined psychic power can be debilitating, so I created a simple counterspell to neutralize their long-term effects. Animals are clearly not sufficient mental prey. They need smarter food. I'm declaring these brain creatures to be another failed experiment for now. I must leave, but I am releasing the strongest of the brain bugs into the caves below so that they can grow and perhaps thrive. I will come and find their offspring when I have a supply of smarter creatures to feed them. Oi. <laughs>
Oh, I see another barrier. Who's a boss? Okay, let's see. As you touch the wall, a voice in your head says, a prodigy must spread light wherever they go. I think I just found the cave to Serbuli Hills. Wow, that, that sounded really southern. So I think if you go through this cave, you'll end up in Serbuli Hills. And that's, of course, one way to come back to Anagog Island if you ever need to without taking the boat. We, however, are not going to go back to Serbuli Hills because we're going to go and uh, fight Gadgets the Big Head before we go anywhere.
so I've pretty much made my way through a majority of the dungeon. Um, we're going to start trying to head back to defeat the boss. Really, this dungeon is pretty easy. It's all skeletons and the record golems. Um, so if you've already been to Serbuli and you've already leveled up a skill set pretty well, then you should have no trouble just running this portion of the dungeon by yourself. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making our way back so that we can try and defeat Gadgets the Big Head, which we're not going to win. <laughs> we're not, we're going to get cursed, but that's okay. I mean, I am interested in seeing, of course, what happens. I know you get a big head, but, you know, I, I need to see the process, I suppose. And every, every newbie should go through this, and I didn't go through this when I was a newbie. And technically, I guess I still, I am a, still a newbie. Um, so I think, I think it's time to get a big head. Oh, brain bugs. So I think it's safe to assume that Elmataf was up to no good. <laughs> or he may be up to good, but it's in a chaotic, good sort of way, maybe. I don't know. He said something about the nature sphere destroying the entire world, and he doesn't want that to happen. Oh, turn page. The small rooms are perfect for early selection and breeding. Appropriating the lab here was an excellent idea. I've also fashioned some old grades into breeding pens, but I fear they are not secure enough for long-term use. Ew, he's trying to breed the brain bugs. Ugh. Oh my god, did you guys just hear the sound it made? Oy. I am hungry. Apparently killing brain bugs makes a person hungry. I don't know why I'm staring at this again. <laughs> Me one second, guys. Okay, I'm ready. I am just leveling up all over the place. These dungeons are good for leveling your your um, stats. Mycology and alchemy because they both use mushrooms, but here's the rule of thumb. If it's just mushrooms, it's mycology. If it involves combining a lot of things into a potion, it's alchemy. As always, there are exceptions. Unfortunately, a lot of exceptions. <laughs> but they at least tend to be accurate. We cover some basic mycology techniques for the uninitiated, but mainly focus on alchemy. I feel like I read this in Elmatef's, uh Lighthouse, where you can pick up all the alchemy recipes.
Okay, so we're going back up. Gonna go get a big head. And I know people tell you you shouldn't have a big head, but sometimes you, you gotta have a big head. And we're gonna go and intentionally give ourselves a big head. This should be incredibly exciting. This is the first boss you will come across on Anagog Island. And I haven't actually passed the barrier before um, to see what he looks like. There he is. Oh, look. He has a big head. I'm not making a dent in his life. Uh, why do I always do this? I always forget I have first aid kits and then I try and eat something. Oi. Yeah, yeah, stop. <laughs> oh gosh, why am I doing this? Oh, look at my head getting bigger. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Oops. Well, that's okay because I get the plus 25 power buff now. And of course, to get rid of the big head, I have to come back and beat him, which means I'll have to get help from somebody else. But nobody seems to be on the island uh, tonight, unfortunately, so I will have to come back. Now, I did uh, finally get somebody to help me. This is the next day. I had to, to wait a little while because no one appeared to be online at a certain time. So this person is going to help me take down the boss. I'm still cursed right now. And so obviously I have to defeat the boss in order to get rid of this curse. Oh, there's the danger warning. Oh my god, she is making dents in him. She must be really high level. Oh my god, her head is starting to get bigger. Yes! Normal sized head again! Woohoo! Alright, that is it for this video, guys. We defeated Gadgets the Big Head.